The Cell and Molecular Biology program at Missouri State University is really a great group of interactive colleagues that are really involved with student education. I think we could pride ourselves on the interactions, the rapport that we have with our students and the individual relationships that the professors form with the students coming through the program. The community is great. The school is large, but it's not massive. You don't get lost in the crowd. There are many opportunities to stand out, be an individual. Missouri State University is a large state university, has a, a mission of public affairs and really what that means is that we really encourage students to be involved in the community. The focus of the public affairs mission is to engage into community activities and serve the community um, both as a learning experience for the students and also the service component of helping the community. Well I think one of the big strengths of the biomedical sciences department is the diversity in, in the faculty. We've got such a diversity and such a diversity of uh, model organisms that the, the faculty use. We are currently funded by a National Cancer Institute grant to study cancer nanotechnology. The focus of that grant is to use nanomaterials, very teeny tiny particles, to deliver something that I've studied for many years, um, nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are both DNA and RNA. Those nanoparticles are delivered by many nanomaterials from virtually every element in the periodic chart. We're particularly interested in nanomaterials that are derived of the elements that would be in our cells and tissues naturally. One of the things that my research focuses on in DNA repair is looking at how ultraviolet light damages your DNA and then how that is, is repaired and if it isn't, that leads to a lot of cancers, uh, skin cancers and uh, some of those same pathways are involved in things like prostate cancer, lung cancer, and so uh, we're just looking at how does your cells recognize that DNA damage, and especially in the parts that are very silent and packed up tightly. It's hard to do really good work unless you, you've got access to good equipment and good infrastructure. The research facilities that we have in the department promote the undergraduate and the master's students research experience and help us to carry out and investigate the um, experiments and the goals that we have in our various projects. The freshmen that join the Honors College here at Missouri State, uh, they have the choice to take a section of the Introduction to Biomedical Sciences that is just for them. The freshman honors um, classes uh, is really groundbreaking because they do research in the classroom instead of just doing labs that they know the answers to half the time when they come in. They do original research in, in a controlled setting. I call it controlled chaos. I came here as a freshman from a really small country school and had no science experience. I didn't even really know if I liked science. Um, I came as an athletic training major, so I just knew I liked sports, and BMS 110 happened to be the first class that we were required to take. And I got into the class, knew nothing about science, was extremely intimidated, but um, it turns out that I found out that I really love science. I gained a lot of passion for science from that class. I actually know now that I want to be a scientist. All these students that come out of this 110 honors are usually set to do research right away and so that's one benefit of of that class is they've had so much critical thinking they have a protocol during class we, we, we find out the students that are really good and we try to encourage those students to get involved with research undergraduate research the way we do it is, is maybe somewhat unique here it, it is actually a a course um, the students can receive some credit towards their CMB degree in doing the undergraduate research uh, project here at Missouri State University, I work on Alzheimer's disease. Uh, specifically, I work with mice and I uh, track changes in oxygen consumption during exercise that may occur uh, with progression of Alzheimer's disease. So I do a lot of animal husbandry, so I take care of animals every day, so seven days a week, 24 hours a day. I'm on call to come and check on them. Uh, I look at them at least once a day. We have uh, duties that we have to do, so they get a fresh house and new water and food. The research experience that I got as an undergrad really prepared me to go on into a clinical degree um, because clinic and research really go hand in hand. Currently my research is looking at how um, infants hear 
um, especially in low frequency hearing because that's the hardest to detect and also how the auditory efferent system works in background noise. The students get involved in doing internships, doing, doing work during the semester as well as the summer outside of school. I um, have had so much lab experience here that I was able to get internships at a place in Kansas City called the Stowers Institute for Medical Research. And because of those um, opportunities that I was able to get from the experience that I got in the labs from these classes, I have now actually been offered a, a job there. One of the things that Missouri State helped me uh, to get the internship, uh, the Amgen uh, program scholarship, was uh, by working in a research lab here, I was able to work every day on a project and become familiarized with every little thing about it. And I think that's what a lot of scientists look for, or employers look for. They want to look for someone who's going to be dedicated to a project. We get some of the best students in the CMB department at Missouri State University. Those are the students you want to teach, um, and that's what makes teaching here and being a part of this faculty really great because they want to learn and they love to learn. I have hands-on experience with research every single day. Being here has made me feel a lot more competitive. Every year I've been here, the department has grown in terms of numbers of students that are involved. I think that's a very positive sign. It shows that we're doing things right here and that students are really interested in what's going on. We will only continue to grow and flourish and be able to compete with larger universities.